The Alabama women's golf team is ranked number six in the country. Let's take a look at how head coach Mick Potter inspires his players. The Alabama Crimson Tide might have clinched their 13th national championship victory, but for many of these seniors, they're coming home with a lot more than just a national championship ring. Thanks, Rob. I'm here in the student section of the Alabama-Florida basketball game, getting in on all the action. Later on tonight, I'll be talking to Mark Ingram. Despite the loss, Alabama still has three more SEC opponents left on their schedule. Reporting from Baton Rouge, I'm Britton Lynn for ESPNU Campus Connection. I saw you at the NFL Rookie Symposium. The kids were all over you. Did you have the best time? What was that like? It was great. Jackie Traina does a lot of damage in the batter's box, but it was a jewelry box that started her career with the Tide. Now, someone who was a former Alabama standout, Glenn Coffey, yeah. obviously he just walked away from the NFL after one year of playing. What was your reaction to that? Well, maybe you can talk him out of it. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Britton Lynn, and this is the 60 Second Drill. In 60 seconds, I'll fill you in on what's going on in Crimson Tide Athletics. It's hard to have an advantage over the top players in the nation coming into the NFL draft, but Alabama's players hope their undefeated season and national championship will give them an edge. Thanks for joining me today on the ESPYs red carpet. I'm Burton Lynn for ESPNU. And even Tony Romo said his chemistry with Williams is continuing to improve. Even though the rumors might be exaggerated, the sight of a national monument-sized nose tackle coming at anyone can be terrifying. From Newport. What does it mean to you? I've won a Heisman Trophy, bringing back the first Heisman Trophy from Alabama. Um, it was real special to me. You also had another incredible experience going to Pasadena, winning a national championship. What was that like? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Burton Lynn with your Fox Sports Flash Weekend Update. Well, King James courting is finally over. Alabama's home win streak is tied for the second longest in school history. And the Crimson Tide players all agreed that there's no place they'd rather play than in sweet home Alabama. Despite playing behind a Heisman Trophy winner, Richardson said he's learned a lot from Mark Ingram and is willing to do whatever it takes to help the team. Does it give you an edge in football, being smart and knowing how to play? Well, it, it gives me an edge in the sense that I'm able to, uh, you know, retain. Hey guys, I'm Britton Lynn and welcome to Inside the Huddle. One SEC student who already has her career on the fast track is ESPNU Campus Connection reporter Britton Lynn. She provides this report from the University of Alabama. But these coaches, players and fans aren't trying to make a fashion statement. They're trying to make a difference. In a rivalry that dates back to 1899, the Tigers now hold a 27-20 series advantage over the Aggies. Reporting from the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. Coach, earlier today you mentioned HaHa as a player with a lot of character. How does a guy like that impact other recruits in his class? Well, I, I think HaHa. -ha. Britton Lynn shares with us why tradition never graduates. During Alabama's renovation of their new softball practice facility, the team added a sign that says tradition never graduates. Today at the Big 12 Media Days, we caught up with legendary coach Tommy Tuberville. And even after leaving the SEC, the Alabama-Auburn rivalry is still fresh in his mind. What do you think this team is really going to be about this year? I think we're going to be. And even though the Alabama players aren't going to forget their 2010 season memories anytime soon, they all agreed they're ready to make some new ones. But what the barbecue hangout will always be known for is its mouth-watering ribs. And with their matchup on Saturday, some Crimson Tide players are actually hoping to get one-on-one -on -one time with the football icon. I'm Capstone correspondent Britton Lynn for WVUA News. Jackie Traina does a lot of damage in the batter's box, but it was a jewelry box that started her career with the Tide. It was a white box, and I'm pretty sure it was either like red or pink on the inside, like felt <laughs> kind of looking. I put like pictures on the front because there's like three little places you could put that. And I sent the box because he was in Marco, actually in Florida. I was in Marco Island, Florida, 30 minutes from Jackie's hometown for the uh, softball convention. I check into the hotel and the lady at the desk says, I have a package here for you. Something I thought of, like I didn't really think too much in it, like like just saying, yeah, I committed or something like that. It's too, uh, too normal, you know. <laughs> Gotta be abnormal about it. Trina committed to Alabama by giving Coach Murphy a box. Among the decorations, notes, and letters with the box, there's one that stands out the most. When she had come for her unofficial visit, 
The theme that year for our seniors was keep your forks. Murph always talks about when you leave here, you're always going to have something after. You're always going to have your dessert. So like, don't throw away your fork because there's always going to be something better after you leave here. Way back in when I was four, five, six years old, I'd go to grandma's house for Thanksgiving dinner. She'd clear the table, but she'd tell everybody to keep their forks. And I knew right then and there that something better was about to hit the plate, and it was dessert. I made like a little index card that had all my favorite desserts on it, and then I wrote them a note. I was like, hey, will you keep this for me so after here, you know, I can eat my dessert. So Jackie saw that t-shirt on her unofficial visit and wanted to know the story. And then three months later, here comes my crimson fork. And uh, I put a fork in there, a crimson fork. It was silver and a crimson um, like handle, I guess you could say. And then the, I put the two um, cards in there, the two note cards. The one I wrote out, like, Dear Coach Murphy, will you keep this for me until you know, I can eat my dessert? For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Britton Lynn.